Hey, this is Alex from AirChat CRM. Uh, welcome back to a new tutorial about email integration. And today we're going to go through uh, how to connect uh, your email address and domain to Lead Connect, as well as how to connect it to Amazon SES, which is the simple email service from Amazon AWS. And finally, how to connect your email address, your email domain, if you want to send grid and send emails through these services. And at, at, the, at the end, we're going to run some tests. OK, so with lead connector is basically the um, internal email system that Go High Level is, is using and you will pay uh, air chat CRM a certain fee for every email you're sending out with Amazon SES is uh, free if you have a free tier meaning that for 12 months Amazon provides you with a free tier where you can try their services and um, it's going to work through them for free and after that there will be a charge for every email you send and SendGrid is free of charge if you send 100 emails a day maximum uh, via their APIs. Uh, otherwise, they have um, their pricing page and you can you can go and, and check it. Um, obviously, you're going to have access to send through Amazon SES or SendGrid if you have a different plan on AirChat CRM. Otherwise, if you have the standard plan, then um, you can only send emails using Lead Connector. Right, let's get into it and let's have a quick look and see how it's um, looking like. Where do we have to go to configure all these? OK, so in here we have um, air chat CRM. OK, and in settings at the bottom left, we have on the left side, we have um, email services. OK, by default, you might not see this button add services okay or yeah it's gonna be like mine okay we can only this option is not allowed as email rebuilding is enabled so for now i'm going to set my domain up using lead connector um, and then i'm going to make some changes behind the scenes where i'm going to be allowed to actually add another service and there will be an option for me to set um, a different service in, right in there. So let's kick in with Lead Connector. I'm going to go dedicated domain here. Yeah. And in the domain field, I'm going to go add. And I should use botwizards.io. Okay. Um, you have to understand certain things. And, and just go and read through through all of these, okay? And then um, you will understand. And also there is an email warning process or warming process. What does it mean? If you don't want your emails to end up in spam, then you better warm up your domain and your email address. And it's very easy. And if you go to this article uh, in the help center, um, you will understand how to do this. Also, let me have a look and see where that is. This is teaching you how to set it up pretty much. But look, if you search email warming. If you just start off right now. Um, um, and, if, and you don't have any, you know, um, reputation with your, your domain or your um, what do I call this? Your email address. Then you have to go through email warming. It's not on lead connector. If you go and search this in Google, so search go high level email warming. Up. Um, on, on help here. Why cold outreach? Yeah, look, there you go. So setting up, yeah. So the worming process is as simple as signing up with 10, 20 newsletter services. They give you some suggestions here. Send 10, 20 emails to your family and friends and make sure they reply to 
your emails okay uh it needs to it's gonna last between one and two weeks to warm up that email address or domain and you have to make sure there is activity day in day out all right um otherwise it's not gonna work your your email your emails if you're planning to send 100 not not 100,000 but a thousand emails maybe you're, you're gonna have um a high number a high percentage of these ending up into the spam uh folder on your on your um recipients okay right so let's go add and verify now it's gonna give me a few uh dns records that i have to you know uh input into my dns provider luckily for bot wizards i think i'm using cloudflare we're gonna log in in cloudflare mm. we have a quick look here i need to find the login okay so we are now into my cloudflare account and as you can see here on the left side we have a menu and if i go to dns um i can manage the dns of my uh, domain so let's see what they suggest so they say i need to put a text record that will have this um first part front of my domain go add record to text and do this then i am copying this oh look see then paste it there and i'm gonna make a note and say this is um lead connector mx okay MX is basically um, part of the mail configuration. Now, it's saying that for for the bot wizard's host name, I need to to add this record. I think I already have a record. No, I don't. That's fine. Okay, so let's add this. If you already have a record, like uh, an S um, SPF record, right? It's called SPF. If you already have an SPF record, you only need to add this part, like include colon mailgun.org anywhere where you can put a space in, inside that, um, you know, that SPF rule, that entry that you already have into your account. So I'm going to go text. And I'm going to do at here. And this is my SPF entry. I don't need to add any comments to this. And then I need to add a C name, which is called email. So a C name, email. And value is mailgun.org. Make sure to disable proxy, proxy status on, on C names. No. Okay, save. Then I need to add two MXs for botwizards.io, which take to MXA, mailgun.org, and MXB, okay, with priority 10. So I'm gonna go add and MX. Um, is for just for bot wizards that's fine say priority 10 save and add mx at mxb priority 10 save right so now i'm gonna count to 10 and by the time I count to 10, all these should be propagated 
globally. Um, so, so we see if, you know, the configuration is correct. I'm going to give you another tip. You can go to dnschecker.org and if for any reasons um, something isn't working, you can check the records here. Like, let's see if I want to check um, C, C name um, if it's taking to mailgun.org I'm going to go email.botwizards.io what is the C name for this one and it's going to say mail.org so this is how you check if it's been um, updated globally in all the countries okay Luckily, Cloudflare is very, very useful and um, quickly. So it's updating quick. Let's go to verify domain at the bottom right. You can't see it because of a right bottom right. I've verified domain now. We'll click on that. Saying please ask DNS records. Okay, so air chat is not seeing them as um, propagated already. Probably try one more time. There you go. Verified, verified, verified. Is there anything missing? Nothing is missing, but it's not progressing. Let's refresh this page. Right. Now let's go verify domain one more time. That's it. So right now, my domain is linked through lead connector, which is amazing. So if I want to add another domain, there you go. I can add another domain. I can have multiple domains uh, linked domains uh, linked to the email service. So I can send through um, you know, different um, dif different email addresses. So now let's test it. Let's go, for example, let's go to contacts. Uh, we have this email let's add another email let's let's add another client let's say alex bot wizards i'm gonna go with bot wizards io at gmail.com uh here's a lead whatever send save it and now in the conversation tab i can click email right there Okay, and then I can simply um, say I want to send from contact at bot wizards dot io. Okay, as I already created my bot wizards dot io integration, now I can I can just use contact, which is my my default mail. Okay. Hello, this is a test using a Ati CRM via lead connector. Okay, subject lead mail email. I don't want to put test in in the subject. Okay, but let's let's try this one. So go. And now, okay, been sent. Now we go here in my Gmail, and there you go, have it. Okay, so the email came, and there is a trick I want to show you on Gmail. If you go here at the top right and you click on that three dots and you click show original then you should see whether spf is pass dkim is pass meaning your domain is authenticated your emails will not end up in spam okay and to to make it even better you can make use of something which is called dmark so if you go dmark generator and you go let's say this one or the martian whatever let's use mx toolbox so let's go 
oddwizards.io. I'm not going to go th into what is DMARC. You can read for yourself a little bit and and just make sure that you understand. How do you want males that fail DMARC to be treated by the recipient? Um, so basically, I just want them rejected. What percentage of the email do you want to apply this to? It's going to go 100%. Right? So now there is a record which is generated here. Do you see? So if I want, I'm going to go. This is going to self solve email deliver deliverability issues. So all I need to do is to get this bit. Go back to. Um, Cloudflare. Need to put this. You don't have to put it with capitals. Let's see mark with lowercase. And then I need to copy uh, this value. And in the contents, I'm going to put this in. Okay. okay. Maybe I'm a little bit strict with re reject here. Like if any email is failing D mark. Uh, reject it okay but this is how you keep your domain safe and your emails safe maybe you can if you're having issues experiment experiment with quarantine with none and and play up with it a little bit but i'm just gonna leave it for like this okay save it and i have a d mark um entry as well into my dns so see there's no d mark here Okay, now let's go back to this and I'm going to send another email and I, and I will say I've updated the mark. Let's see. Hi Alex. Your DMARC was added to the DNS service. Please. Visible. Is evil. Okay, and I'm gonna send another email. Why not be straight away? But we'll see. Okay, now go contact at Bot Wizard. I go again, show original. Ooh, D mark pass. So SPF pass, DKYM pass, DMARC pass. That's what you want to see on all the emails that you send out. Because if you have these three set correctly, there's no email provider which is going to say, yeah, this is a scam or spammer or whatever. Um, however, you need to make sure that your, your email content is also something that doesn't look as spammy all right so i think we covered lead connector um at length now and um that should be it let's have a quick look back into email again In email now you can see um it's connected you also have email analytics where you see exactly how many emails you had delivered and sent, opened, clicked, if you had links, complaints or bounces, complaints is if anybody is reporting them as spam, okay? Or bounces if, if simply that email address is not valid anymore or it's wrongly, uh, um, you know, wrongly given to you by, by its owner um, or on purpose wrongly given to you okay you should clear the list of all those emails which are not genuine and, and they offer bounce um, status right okay now let's um, make some modifications behind the scene and I'm coming coming back with uh, how to set it up through Amazon AWS okay so now we have access to add different services okay so in, in this section here as you can see you have in um, in email services you have add service 
So let's go and switch to um let's do send grid first, okay? Um because it's right here. I'm gonna do send grid, send grid. We need an account, so send grid.com. Go sign up for free. Let's use um Board wizards io at gmail.com the sign up email address it doesn't really matter really traffic lights must have at least 16 characters voila Put two more characters right okay that they want stuff. All right. Don't need to put that in. Are you? Whatever. Get started. Okay. Now we are into. Um, then grid. We need to set up two-factor authentication apparently right fine let's use 40 um yeah let me pass this step first and um i'll um i'll immediately resume the recording after this Okay, so I've um, enabled this, done it with my mobile phone. So we are in the SendGrid account now, and we need to go to settings and then to API keys. I think so. Let me have a look. Been quite some time since I haven't done this. Yeah. Mm, no. Email API. Yeah, Okay, so yeah, so first thing we need to authenticate the domain, okay? So we go in settings, we go to sender authentication and in here we go get started. We select whatever provider we have. Um, do you want to add brand? Um, would you also like to brand the links to this domain? For example, you don't want the links that um you put in into your email to send to somebody usually sendgrid replaces them with sendgrid links um you can leave it like that or if you want more customization then you can just say yes um and then it's going to give you some more dns entries to add in, into your cloudflare and you can have something like email or post.botwizards.io in your links rather than sendgrid links I'm just going to say no for now from domain. That's the one. Um, uh, use a custom. No, that, that's it. You can leave it like this. Okay. And then it's going to give us again, same like um, lead connector is going to give us stuff that we need to add into uh, Cloudflare. So the first thing is a C name C name not proxied to this and then another C name
to this all of this save and then another one still c name you see i'm not branding this i mean i'm not adding a comment to these links because i know they contain sendgrid um, inside so that's fine i know they are for sendgrid right now counting to 10 usually does the job right let's do verify it worked return to the sender okay now we need to verify an email address as well so alex uh, we're gonna use the same contact at botwizards.io reply in case you want a reply to the same email address or maybe no reply that's fine um right um i put here london united kingdom nickname office email for example yeah right it's already verified because we verified the domain before so so it's absolutely fine all right okay now uh one more time we go to account you can see we pretty much have everything here right mail settings you're gonna see you have some other um configurations if you if you want yeah with other services you might be able to use event webhooks and so on not with uh, airchat tcrm for now okay okay let's go back to airchat tcrm okay and now we have a username so you our username is i remember what's our username account details the username is this one exactly okay an email is contact around bot wizards.io and the password is literally my Ingrid account password which is where <laughs> this demo account so send grid one of these ones Yeah, that's the one. Don't worry, I'm gonna change the password after this video, so it's safe. Okay. Unauthorized. Hmm. Is it? Username what wizards.io. Maybe the email is the same. Hmm. Contact at board wizards. One more time, sender authentication. That's fine. Sorry.
sending okay so with basic authentication we might need to have a look something has changed meanwhile oh okay enable it to fat will allow okay basic authentication using basic authentication with your account password is not a secure way as using an api key the credentials are compromised blah, blah, blah. okay so when using basic authentication your username will always be your api key and your password will be your api key now uh, will be your api key right so we need to generate an api key in the end so api key create i'm just gonna say they're chatty um i can customize this but for the sake of simplicity i'm just gonna go away and go ahead and, and use this so username is api key and password is api key as well yeah but that didn't work no Let's see, maybe the password is gonna work like this. No. Done. Make a note of this one. And try one more time. What was he saying? Your username will always be API key. Ah, okay. Sorry. The username is API key. And the password is the API key. Save. Boom. It worked. Right. Now we have two email providers that we can use to send. One is Bot Wizards dot io using lead connector and the other one is using sendgrid so all we need to do is just tick this option here check it and now the default provider will be sendgrid okay and if we go to um the previous email we had so this one if we go to show original we can see somewhere here that the sender uh, is, it was mailgun you see received from mailgun remember mailgun is um basically the email provider for lead connector so now we're gonna see sendgrid let's go back and run another test go to conversations um where are my conversations nowhere contacts let's click on this contact and again we're going to use contact at bot wizards io to hello from send grid this is my email sent from SendGrid. Okay. And I'm going to click send now. And should be here already. It went into promotions this time. Hello from SendGrid. Okay. And as you can see, we go show original we still have spf dk kym and dmark all passing very nicely but we can see the from received from sendgrid.net okay so yeah now we used sendgrid and it's that simple that you can create an account with sendgrid and and just if you don't send many emails um i would suggest you use sendgrid is uh, it's absolutely brilliant if you have obviously the right to use your your um, your own smtp so i can say yeah 100 free emails per day you get with sendgrid all right 
Now let's go with Amazon. With Amazon, I'm going to use my business account, which is already set up and, and everything. OK, I'm not going to go through how to create an Amazon AWS account and so on. Find this on, on, on the Internet because there's th literally thousands of tutorials. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to use my own um, business account in here now. So um, and we're going to go AWS.Amazon console whatever yeah gonna sign in we need passwords and stuff so let me log in actually give me a second okay so now we are in my amazon account we're gonna go at the top here if you don't have it you're gonna search for ses and you're going to see Amazon simple email service. Just make sure you put a star on it like like so. Click it so, so you will see it right here in this uh, top bar. And I'm going to click on Amazon SES. I need to click twice. Yeah. All right. And in here on the left side, I need to go to verified identities and in verified identities here i need to basically verify the bot wizards.io as well so i'm gonna go with domain and i'm gonna go bot wizards.io yes um and i'm gonna go with easy dkym and rsa 20 2048 bit encryption for it all right and if you're hosting your domain with root 53 in amazon then you can leave this enabled otherwise um there's no need for them uh, help validate yeah you leave this on as well okay um so you go create identity and now uh, it's going to give us guess what some entries that we need to put in cloudflare so I'm going to copy the copy all everything until dot bot wizards. So I don't need that. This is a C name as well. So C name. And in there we have this copy of these tabs close to each other. Then this one, I'm just going to copy it and delete it there. Copy all of it. Okay. Uh, and then this. Okay. And the last one. Actually, I see it's already replacing it, so I don't. There's no need for me to delete botwizards.io from there, right? And if I scroll down, uh, custom mail from I didn't choose that, so I'm gonna leave uh, Amazon AWS to send and replace my my links with Amazon links is fine. Um, if I want custom links like I told you like something like post.botwizards.io I need to verify this as well um, and yeah actually I think this is not about links no I think we should do this custom mail from domain let's see uh, messages you send through says use a subdomain of amazon ses.com as a default mail from domain Setting the mail from to a domain uh, you own enables you to comply with domain-based message authentication reporting and um, um, conformance DMARC. So it's it's actually quite good to do this. So I'm gonna go post, yeah, and then I'm gonna get two more entries. One post, which is an MX. 
So let's go MX this and then um a bit tricky here just copy the text but not the 10 very why and goes here as priority okay mx and then copy post yeah and this is going to be a text record text post and copy this as well and put it here save done so now let's count 10 again as you can see dkym already verified successfully yeah so my domain keys were verified and everything is um as it should all right let's refresh this successful so right now we have actually hooked up our domain uh, botwizards.io to aws and we have verified identities okay we still need to verify in the email that we are going to send from so we're going to go email let me contact at botwizards.io and now there's a problem I actually don't have this email created into my mail server so we need to do that okay otherwise it might not send using this okay so let's do this let me actually use my phone to do that in a second okay okay so now we have um contact at botwizards.io i'm ready to um actually create the identity uh, it's gonna send me a message okay so i need to go in my webmail refresh there you go all i need to do is to click on the link and congratulations you verified your email address okay right now we're going back to air chat crm and in here in settings um in emails we are ready to go add a service and we can go other and provide the name will be amazon ses we're gonna get this off um um I'll show you from where email will be um, contact at botwizards.io uh, username uh, you will see it's a different username and a different password so now we go back to Amazon SES if we refresh this this should be verified as well yes and then we go to um, SMTP settings and in here we have a SMTP endpoint. We can choose the endpoint. As you can see, I'm using London here. So at the top right, this is basically related to the region where you're setting your Amazon ACS service. I should have said that in the beginning, maybe choose this first and choose whether you want your services to be sent from Europe, Frankfurt or Ireland or Paris, or I don't know, London, okay, or from Asia or from US, you you, you, are, you have plenty of, you know, serv servers where to choose from. So I'm going to use this one and go to Erchati. That's my SMTP server. Uh, now, what port would I want to use? I'm going to use 587. Okay, or I can use 465 if I have an option to choose TLS. I don't think I have an option to choose the authentication. I'm just going to use 587 is fine. Um, and then username, we need to create that. We need to click create SMTP credentials. And in here, um, you, you click create. 
and it's going to give you a long username and a huge password this is the username and this is the password okay now we click save and that's it now we have replaced sendgrid pretty much with amazon scs right um so there's only by the looks of it there's only two services that you can have it's either lead connector and your own smtp um or you know scs or sendgrid guys bear in mind you can use your own smtp by 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 all means okay so feel free to <laughs> use your smtp there in other but i'm telling you scs and sendgrid they they really deliver okay so let's try scs now we go back to contacts and we go to this email we say email sent using amazon says whatever okay hello alex this is an email sent using amazon says all right i'm gonna go contact at botwizards.io sent right now waiting there you go straight in inbox so no promotions as well send grid actually ended up in in promotion funny enough but that's only because we're using the free service and uh, we, we're just using a who knows an ip address that has tens of thousands of other users so if i go here again the original pass 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 the chip so everything is authenticated and if we go um to see who sent this uh, we should see a lot of says here received from there you go all right so there you have it now you know how to configure your uh, email in um, um, in a chat CRM using uh, SendGrid and Amazon SES I hope this has been um, uh, very insightful for you and I hope it's going to help you to achieve whatever you want to achieve using Erchati CRM. Till next time, I'm Alex and I wish you all the best. Bye.